Hey guys, I got something pretty cool to show you today. Now this is a 22 inch, 120 watt curved light bar. It's got three watt Cree LEDs in it. But what makes it so cool is it's got the new 5D lenses. Now I haven't tested out any of these 5D lenses yet, so I'm really excited about seeing how this thing works and seeing how it compares to the 4D lenses. Now this is an ox beam light bar, although it doesn't have ox beam on the side like they usually do. Uh, I'm not sure why not, but it is an ox beam light bar, got it from ox beam. So it should be a good quality light just like all the others. Like I said, these new 5D lenses, I'm going to give you a closer look in a minute, but it's kind of cool. They've actually got the same fisheye projector type lens sitting in the middle of a regular reflector cup type lens. So you have both the reflector cup and then you've got that fisheye lens kind of perched right there in the center of it. So I think that's going to be pretty neat. Now unfortunately, I don't have a 22 inch curved Cree light bar with the 4D lenses to compare this to so we can get a good accurate comparison of the 4D versus the 5D. So I got the next best thing. I've got my 42 inch blocked off down to a 22 inch so they both have 40 LEDs. It's both curved light bar. So I think that'll make for a pretty good comparison. I'll show you here. See this is the same size, got the same amount of LEDs. 4D versus 5D should be a pretty fair comparison. All right, hopefully my camera will focus in enough on these lenses to show you what I'm talking about. So it is kind of hard to see in a picture. But if you see, each LED has its own big reflector cup or reflector cone, whatever you want to call it, just like a standard light bar would have. And then right in the center of it, you can see these four tabs on the corners, there, there, and there, is holding this little fisheye projector lens right there in the center of that cup. So you both got your reflector cup for whatever light can get around that and then up towards the top is that fisheye projector lens just sitting right there. Pretty cool. Kind of excited about seeing how it's going to work. You see the difference in the spot beam and the flood beam. Flood beam's the same way. It's got the reflector cups and it's got that fisheye lens right there in the center but it's kind of got a diff diffuse pattern to it to spread it around more for a flood effect. But Then we got the 4D that is just all sealed off except for your fisheye lenses. No extra cup or no light getting around that really. So I do wish my camera would focus in a little bit better and show you what I'm talking about with these cups, but it's pretty cool. Now like I said, I got this 42 inch blocked off right here, so it's got the same number of LEDs, got 40 LEDs. 40 LEDs in this one, and they are both Cree 3 watt LEDs. So, should give us a pretty good idea of the difference between the 4D and the 5D. Alright, the first thing I wanted to do is just go ahead and power it up inside here, shine it up against the door, and get an idea of what the spot beam looks like up close, and see how much flood lighting we get. And you see it's got a pretty cool pattern. It's got a pretty, pretty intense spot beam right there in the center. And you got that nice ring around it of, uh, of flood lighting. Actually a pretty cool pattern. This is the 5D, obviously, and uh, I'll go ahead and fire up the 4D here and we'll compare them and see what they look like. Alright, and there's the 4D. You can tell he's still got a nice, really bright, pretty intense spot beam right there in the center. It doesn't seem like it's got nearly as much flood lighting. Of course, it's hard to tell for sure going back and forth. I'll have to review the footage and try and make some side-by-sides for you so you can get a good idea what the up-close pattern looks like, but... Now it is starting to rain again, just like it has been for weeks, and I've been trying to get this video done for a while, but we're going to go ahead and try and do it from inside out the door here. Now, 285 yards away, down the road, is a big water tower, and I checked out with a rangefinder, straight line between here and that water tower, is 285 yards. So let's go ahead and fire up the 5D light bar. You see that water tire lighting up down there. That's pretty impressive. 285 yards, even through mist, and it's lighting that thing up. That's pretty cool. You also see the neighbor's house there is getting lit up. Hopefully they don't mind that. But there's the 5D. That's pretty impressive. All right, same test with the 4D light bar. And you see it does still light that water tower up at 100, or 285 yards, rather. Which, like I said, that is pretty impressive because that's only 22 inches of light bar. 
So as far as the distance challenge goes, I'd say they're pretty close to the same. I have to try to side by side and see if one's brighter than the other, but they both light up that tower, 285 yards. That's that's pretty cool. All right, here's the side by side screenshot from both the two videos. Now you notice with the red arrow, the 5D definitely lights up that water tower a lot better. So as far as long distance spotlighting goes, I'd say that 5D is definitely the winner. But also if you look at the blue arrows, the shed in the neighbor's yard way over to the side of the screen is actually lit up quite well by the 5D also, not so much with the 4D. So not only is the 5D a much better spotlight, but it also gives you more flood lighting too. So that's a winner all around in this category. All right, for the next test, I got my little Honda Civic sitting down at the end of the parking lot, 40 yards away. Let's try the 4D light bar. See, it lights it up real good. Nice spot beam. I think the spot beam up in the trees there. As always, the camera is just not doing it any justice, but it is lighting up real well. Nice spot beam all around the Civic there, 45 yards away, 40 yards away rather. Right, here's the 5D. And I gotta say that 5D is the winner. Not only now can you see the Civic real well, but you can see that pile of Ford next to it. I'd say it's a brighter spot beam and a lot more flood lighting to go with it. Alright, here's another side-by-side -side comparison showing you just how much brighter that 5D really is. You notice it's got a much brighter, even a little bit bigger spot beam and also more flood lighting. You can see on the ground in between the light and the cars and also even on the wall of the shop there you can see how much more flood lighting we've got. Well, Alright, since that mist outside turned into full-on rain and it's only 37 degrees outside, I don't really feel like getting wet and turned into a popsicle. So we're back inside. I wish I could have done a little bit more testing, but I've been putting this video off for quite a while now. I've been wanting to check these things out, but it's been raining non-stop. So I finally had a little pause in the rain. I figured I'd take a chance to see what we get done. And I think it's pretty safe to say this 5D light bar wins hands down. I mean, it's a better spotlight and it's a better floodlight than the 4D. Not only that, but it looks cooler. So, win-win. The only thing I could possibly think of that I'm unsure of on this light is the way these little reflector lenses You've got your cup and you got that little projector lens that sits in there and it's just held in place by those four tabs. I don't know if possibly you put one of these on a four-wheeler or a razor and you just beat the crap out of it and you're jumping it, hitting all kinds of bumps. I don't know if you could possibly dislodge one of those little lenses in there or not, but I guess only time would tell. I mean, it looks pretty well made, so might not ever have a problem. I don't know, that's just something that I noticed, but like I said, I, only time would tell might be perfectly fine but that's it I'd say it wins hands down the only other bad thing I can say is I am a little disappointed I just finally settled on a light bar for my Tahoe I went with a 52 inch version of this light bar right here the 4D Cree light bar just got it mounted on the roof of the Tahoe really happy with it and now I'm checking this light bar out now I'm wishing I had waited for the 5D but who knows maybe later on I'll upgrade to the 5D but, well there you go guys, I'd say this new 5D lens design is a winner, I like it. Like I said, not only does it look cool, but it seems to perform better, so how could you go wrong? Uh, as always, I'll put a link to where I got it in the description, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.